again in this tutorial i'll be showing us the process of how this design was created so this design was made on pixel lab so i'll be starting the project over again so from the design the first thing there was um the white background and then the next thing he did okay let me import the design so we can reference it slowly so the next thing on the design was to to add a shape that's the curved um thing you can see there so you make use of a shape then you change it to circle by tapping this part here there are also other shapes there on the app so you make use of circle you change the color to blue if you don't have this color here all you need to do is tap on this plus icon tap on the pointer here and tap on the layer to pick color you can easily pick the color from the design or anything so you have the blue red you'll be, make, be making use of that then all you need to do is increase the size of the circle expand it so expand it here yeah, so we have something like this so you take it to back so console we are referencing so that's settled then after that you centralize it by coming here this little position so it's centered once it's centered you can lock it so you won't scatter it then the next thing there is the business the mirror which you have it said the name is jimmy's gadget so you create a new text you have jimmy gadgets yeah so Jimmy Gadget. So we're making use of just um, basically three colors here: the blue, white, and black. The blue is the main color of the design. White and black are just colors you can use to complement any color you make use of in your design. So when we're changing the Jimmy to white, then also changing the font we're using Montserrat here. Making use the black Montserrat black. It's the business name, so you should give it more emphasis by making use of the bold fonts there jimmy then enterprise you be you can you making use of a script font enterprise so and the name of the script font is katrina 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 yeah this is it katrina so increasing the size then giving it spacing also then we'll be changing the color to black black then you also do what you centralize that so if you would like to know the sizes i use there for the jimmy gadgets i make use of size 47 then for the enterprise i made use of size 74 yeah so you can lock those two since you're set with that then going over we have the image which shows using the design so I've downloaded the picture already, so you just import it. I'll make the picture available soon. So you import it. Then the shape we created, we can adjust this down again so the image can fit perfectly into it. You can reduce the size also. So you do what you centralize this also then you can lock it so then the next thing is the services they offer so i make use of just two fonts all through in the design that's montserrat and the katrina so you don't necessarily have to have lots of fonts in your design maximum of two to three fonts is enough on real occasions you do have four fonts and even if using different fonts they should be fonts that are related that are similar that there are little difference within them so Take note of that. So our services includes yeah, so we have this here changing our font to Montserrat. We won't be using Montserrat, you can just make use of Montserrat bold. Let's see what that gives us. Yes, Montserrat bold. Then we'll be adding text background making use of white and changing our text color to black now if you take a look at the design you will observe 
that the text background added is round and there is an extra blue beneath it. It's simple. I'll explain that now. So for your text background, you come there. You do what? You increase the left and right padding. Left and right padding. So let's change the color of the text padding so we can see what we are actually editing. So for now, let's just make it a blue. So then the right padding. Okay, I think they are equal now then. To make it round as seen here, you come to this way, we have radius here beneath. Then you've made it round. Then the bottom. Okay, let's see. I think, yes, it's equal now. So we can now return our text background to the original color you wanted, which is white. You want to center align that also. And you can move it up. Yeah. So we also duplicate this. Take it here, but it will be at the back of the. It will be at the back of the first one there. You duplicate and then it will be under it. You bring the square, the shape you create there under. So the first one you have, the first and services which is this one here. You've logged it. Then the second one you take, you took under. You change the background color to blue. Then you also do what? You increase the size. So then you adjust it. So it's the one under you are adjusting now. So let's see. It's not still really okay. So you adjust it till it's okay there. Then you can come to the text background and make some adjustments. So you can check out the settings I use. I have left padding to 15, right padding to 12. That's for the one under. And for the one at the top, we have left padding to 17 and right padding to 14. All these numbers are not necessarily used. It's not necessarily used exactly the same thing, but make sure you are not doing anything in excess. So I'm just making you see the number just in case you want to do exactly the same dimension I'm using, but you can be creative with yours. Then since we are done with that, you lock your layers, you lock it, then you also move on to the next part that's listing the services they offer. So we have sales. Sales of electronic gadgets. So for that I added some emphasis by using star then repair and servicing of electronic gadgets yeah we're done with that then you come to this align you center align everything this way our font will be making the Montserrat semi board. Montserrat semi board. For the first one here, we use Montserrat board. So we'll be making use of semi board to create a kind of hierarchy between them. Even though they are almost alike, but the difference is still there. Even though it's not really visible. So just take note of that. Then you just the size. You want to center align. Gonna adjust it. Okay, let me take it up a little bit. Then once you are done with that, you lock that. Then to the final part of the design, which is where we have the contact details, you create a shape. Create a shape. Then you can see the shape is not pointed, it's kind of round. Let's change the color. Then you can see it's kind of round. You come to this radius here for that. So I don't want it to be too round. So that's why I'm having it this way. So I think here yeah, we are okay with that. Then you lock that also. And then you create now for the contact details icon. I use you can download the icons and PNG format. But for the pixel lab I'm using, you have it there. So that's just to make your work faster. You come to the emoji aspect here. 
and you have it right here so the first one we can use the whatsapp icon what you need to do is come to the eraser and erase every other icon you don't need so i don't need the instagram for now so i'll be erasing it off now you have that of whatsapp alone then you change the color to white change it to white just a bit then you add the phone number there let's just choose a default number yes so you also change the color to white then don't forget to also change the font so for this i think we can use montserrat regular let's see okay i think that's okay let's give it a little spacing yeah i think that's okay then can reduce the size a bit i think yeah so it's okay this way you can just use this for the movement around then you duplicate this also then you have the other contact details that's for instagram jimmy jimmy gadgets then you also have that here then you duplicate this icon i imported here after duplicating it you come to the eraser then you tap on the undo button here once you tap on it it's undo all the reason you have done so we need the instagram icon you clean every other icon there leaving the instagram icon alone then you also have the instagram icon inside it i think these details are too big so we'll reduce it same with the whatsapp icon so the text yes we just decide but okay i think we make use of 23 here so reducing this to 23 So let's align here now. You can move two or more layers on the pixel app app at the same time. All you need to do is open the layer icon, tap on this place, then tap the layers you want to move. So the first layers I want to move is the contact, that's the phone number and the WhatsApp icon. I want to move them together. After tapping them, you tap this one, two, you tap the second button here. This after tapping on it, you can see different editing you can do to those things simultaneously. So I want to move them. So I'll be tapping on this. Then you can see you can move them simultaneously. So let me use my grid line to check what we are doing. So same thing with the Instagram. I'll be marking them simultaneously and moving them together. So yeah, the last part, which is the demarcation, make use of this underscore here. Yes, I think there's three of it. Then you do what you rotate it about 90 degrees so you can have a straight line. The color to white, the center line, yes, it's the center line, then bring it down also, then you adjust it up. So let's use the grid line to check, it's not centered yet. So now this is what you have. Let's unlock every layer so you won't scatter it. So now, as you can see, we've recreated the design already in a few minutes. So all you need to do is save your project, Jimmy Gadgets. And also save your image you save in what ultra and you save to gallery so we've recreated this design already so mm -hmm.